Hey guys, Carly here. Welcome to the vlog. For today, we're going to do a bunch of things. First up, I'm going to share with you, well, a shopping trip that I did over at Seoul Academy where I was trying to look for limited edition Adidas Ultra Boosts. Apart from that, I'm also going to bring you guys along, well, I, well, before that, I'm going to unbox as well the sneaker that I ended up buying and I will probably put it on feet and wear it for today. And lastly, I'll just bring you guys along for the day. So consider this like a, some sort of a day in the life of Carl Ople on a weekend because my weekends are actually pretty busy. So that said, I hope you guys enjoy this day with me. Let's go! Before anything else, this is how messy my studio is over at my house. So I have two studios now. This one is my personal studio where I live and I have another studio where I shoot a bunch of my videos downstairs which I'll show you guys in a while. Now like what I mentioned earlier, let's just pick this up and put this here. Uh, I did go on a shopping spree over at Seoul Academy. So I was looking for this particular limited edition Ultra Boost. However, before we get to this one, let me just share with you some of the sneakers that I thought were pretty, well, interesting. First up, we have a new colorway of the Nike React uh, Air Max 270. So I actually have uh, two over there. That one, let me just zoom in. So that one is the one with the transparent upper. That one is with the Bauhaus color. So I did see a new colorway which had some sort of like purple and yellow and black which just looked incredibly sick. Now, if I didn't have too many React sneakers already, as you can see over there, I probably would have considered copying it. Now, apart from that, we also saw a new, well, not it's not really new because it's been there for a while, but I, I was actually tempted to get it, which was a red colorway of the Presto React, which is over there. I have the blue one and the black and red one. So the red one had this pop of yellow at the back, which just made it look incredibly sick. And I was again thinking of picking that one up but pass for now. We also saw like a new Sobakov without the boost midsole. So it was like your typical trainer court shoe or tennis sneaker. Uh, again, it looked kind of nice, but it wasn't something for me, especially since it's not for people with wide feet. We also saw a new colorway of the Air Max 720, some sort of like metallic gray upper, as well as that giant 720 air bubble at the bottom of the sneaker. So again, was actually thinking of picking that one up, uh, but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the 720 silhouette. I actually have one 720 over here, which is the Northern Lights. Let me just pick it up for you guys so you can take a better look. <sighs> this one I got over from an outlet. So you don't have to pay full retail for 720s these days. Got this for 20, 30% off over at the Nike Paseo outlet. Boom. There was also this really nice looking Air Force One with different materials. It was like an Air Force One Premium, blue, red, brown. Seriously thinking of getting that one in the next few days. Hopefully, they still have it in my size when I drop by Seoul Academy. Which leads me to today's unboxing. We have over here the Adidas Ultra Boost that I was able to pick up, which is a limited edition pair. This actually just came out, I think, in China. And this is the Ultra Boost Rainy Days. Now, as you guys can see, it already comes in the new Adidas Ultra Books, ooh, Books Ultra Boost box, wherein it opens like this, and it's not your typical yellow purple box. And this, guys, is what the sneaker looks like. I mean, take a look at that. That is incredibly loud for a sneaker. So the pattern or the print at the top mimics like storms hitting, well, the map or the, I don't know if it's China, but the, the red parts are supposed to be, I don't know, either storm formations and the blue is probably like land mass, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, but it looks really sick and it will really turn heads and grab attention. Another nice touch is that yellow stripe over here. So it actually three stripes comes in different color. This one is in red. This one is some sort of like orange and you have the yellow stripe at the very end of the cage, which is similar again here on the other side of the shoe. Another nice element is the cage over here. Take a look at that color how it changes from red, purple, blue to that some sort of like red color here at the back. One of the nicest implementations of the cage. And of course, you have that silky black boost over here 
for the midsole which just delivers amazing cushioning for the sneaker and lastly of course you have the continental outsole now the great thing about this sneaker is that well it just sold for 8,900 pesos despite it being a limited edition pair in fact I actually checked stock X when I picked this up it was selling for over $300 guys so yeah it's just a nice buy so it's it's selling for $300 but I was able to buy it for just 8,900 around 180 185 USD not a bad purchase so what do you guys think of this sneaker let me know in the comment section down below i'd love to hear from all of you what's up now i was actually thinking of wearing that sneaker uh, for today's talk i actually have a talk with the wife we're going to do a quick talk on purpose-driven marriage uh but it won't go with my outfit because i'm wearing a brown carhartt shirt some sort of like green cargo pants from above the ankle guys if you're interested in finding out where i buy most of my pants check out above the ankle on instagram but anyway so it won't go with the overall look and outfit so i'm thinking of picking up some sort of like brown sneakers here in my collection to go with this look so let's take a look at some of the brown sneakers that i have in my collection now obviously the default favorites include these air force ones over here we have the carhartts the travis scotts the tc's i think this is the one with kith take a look at that nice pop of pink oh i think i'll go with this one i haven't worn this sneaker yet in a long while so we have this one with the pink and this one in just some sort of like brown vegeta vegeta i don't know if you pronounce it properly but yeah so i'm i'm, I'm thinking of this one but i still have a few options of course we can also go with my favorite this is one of my favorite sneakers of all time this is the justin timberlake jordan 3 and you get that nice pop of color with the orange laces which you can actually swap it out for brown laces if you want we also have the jordan pata over here uh, which I haven't worn in a bit so man it's a really nice sneaker and it's one of the most comfortable sneakers I have or one of the more comfortable Jordans that I have in my collection we also have like the Yeezy Oxford Tans this one I haven't worn in a minute guys so with all the Yeezy 350 boosts that have come out recently I just lost I don't know like the drive to wear Yeezys because I see so many people wearing Yeezy 350s these days and from all ages from kids to grandfathers so <laughs> so i'm not sure if i want to wear this today but yeah uh the time is coming soon where i think i will retire the shoe for good but that'd be a shame because it's really one of my favorite sneakers so after a lot of thought we ended up with this one we're going to rock my favorite the jordan 3 justin timberlake let's go what's your topic for today <laughs> topic natin yeah a topic for today purposeful marriage yeah. guys this is the event where we're actually headed to they actually use like a fresh from the gym photo <laughs> so it's at well today september 7 9 to 4 at the raffles corporate center uh yeah apparently we're a young amazing celebrity couple what be celebrity couple though what what <laughs> Submit to somebody, I and mean, he raised me to, to, to be myself and to really be a powerful woman. Babe, how did you find the talk? Uh, well, masaya naman. It, it, it was a very intimate crowd, but it, I think that I think nagresonate naman siya through a lot of the people. The weird part of the talk was listening to you talk, because <laughs> there are a lot of things na. Nah, you only say during the talks. <laughs> <laughs> no, wala during the practice run. No, wala, hindi, wala during the day. <laughs> so guys, that's it for the talk. So at this point, I'll be dropping off Mitch. He has a radio show on Opla Nascenso. If you don't watch or listen, make sure to tune in uh, every Saturday, 12 to 2, 92.3 News FM. They also have a Facebook page. So try to catch her. She has a really great show on business, entrepreneurship, and handling money. Uh, at this point in the day, I'll be going back, well, after dropping her off at TV5, and I'll be shooting a couple of videos with Elodia, Will, Mary, Jamie, and a bunch of the other guys. So this is for the vlog. We're doing a 500,000 peso gadget unboxing, which is like the biggest amount I've ever unboxed on the channel. So watch out for that video that should be dropping soon. Uh, but for now, I'll probably cut a few clips of me talking to them, asking them to give you relationship advice, since that's pretty much the theme of today. So yeah, let's keep going with the rest of the afternoon. Say hello! 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 hello. Ano meron? Nag-shoot kayo? <laughs> oh guys, ginulo ko yung shoot nila. Hello. Yeah, kayo yung vlog to? Hi! Oh, diba? Oh, bigay ka ng relationship advice. 
<laughs> Be consistent. Okay, ikaw. Find someone who cooks very well. <laughs> <laughs> you? Learn the words, yes, dear. Right, and you? Happy wife, happy life. Yo, we're back in the studio. We're currently setting up for our... Well, it was supposed to be 500,000, but it looks like it's going to be like a 1 million peso unboxing. So watch out for that. Uh, just a quick pan so you guys see who's in the room. What's up? Kawai kawai naman dyan, mga friendships. O oh, diba? Kuya kawai ka naman! Kuya kawai ka naman! Yun! So guys, watch out for the actual vlog. It should be dropping really soon. But for now, I'll just cut to some clips of us, well, fooling around while we unbox all of the awesome stuff in here. Let's go! Ito na ang pro camera setup. Mukhang amateur yung camera ko. <laughs> ang hardcore lang. Public service announcement, the Twister Fries are back. So if you guys are into Twister Fries, ito na siya guys, oh. Panalong panalo, lamon lang ng lamon. Just finished shooting. Ngayon, nandiyan na ang customary selfie <laughs> ng lahat ng tao. So the day isn't done yet. We'll be heading over to Podium. We'll check out a quick event sponsored by Singapore. And then, we'll wrap up the vlog. So let's go. So we're here in Podium for their Singaporeum event where Singapore has really taken over levels 1 and levels 2 of Podium. So level 1, you have a bunch of retail stores including Quix. So if you guys are into toys and collectibles, you definitely have to check out this booth. He has shirts, he has toys, he has caps, and even towels that will be really good in terms of value if you are a collector. However, for today's vlog, to end everything, we are going to sample some of the food that they have here on the second floor. So we have their ribs, we have their cheese fries, we have the wolf burger, we have the laksa, and we have some sort of satay over here that we will also test out. So the first that, I don't know, dish will dig in is this wolf burger over here. That looks really, really good. So let's take a bite. Mmm. Hello. <laughs> So the beef is really tender and juicy, the cheese is really nice, the quality of the bread is also fantastic. So it goes really well also with uh, the fries and cheese. Laksa, and the great thing about this one, since it came from Singapore, you know that the flavors are authentic and unlike most of the laksa that you find here in the Philippines. So let's try it out. So it also comes with like the meatballs and the shrimp and a bunch of eggs and stuff like that so ganto pala maging ano no like a uh, um, Erwan Yusuf wow shout out to Erwan mmm <laughs> that is really good food guys you haven't been to Singapore yet one of the things you have to do is to really go around to try out the different cuisines because just eating at the street market is really an experience in itself and you get a lot of that here in Singapore. So if you've never been to Singapore yet and you want to get the flavor for the food that they have, check them out, Singaporeum here at the podium, first two floors. Make sure that you eat as much as you can when it comes to the second floor because they have really good food. We're also going to try out their satay. Um, there are a lot of like restaurants that offer this here in the Philippines. So we're going to see if there's a difference between the taste. So let's take a bite. From the sauce to the pork, definitely feels richer in terms of flavor. Sometimes the satay here in the Philippines overpowering too much with the sauce. This one just right. So again, you guys have to check it out. It's over there. Make sure to drop by here at the podium for Singaporeum. Singapore has literally taken over well, the Podium Mall. So drop by if you haven't been to Singapore yet. It's a great chance to experience their cuisine as well as their culture. Peace, God bless, what's up?